So, Matt Jarbo put out a video talking about why he thinks that binge culture on Netflix should end. I've uploaded a video about it and I pretty much lost my call. And I feel like I'm probably going to do it again. Because I just, I can't, I can't help it. He sounds like a fucking moron. Here's the thing. And I'm going to try to be as calm about it as possible. But I'm probably going to lose my shit anyway. Here's the thing about binge culture. It's a choice. This guy acts as though Netflix orders you to watch all those shows at one time. And they don't. Yeah, they may sit there and say, oh, you know, it's a binge thing or whatever. You can watch the whole season or whatever. But they don't make you do it. It is a choice. Now, so far, I've seen a equal group of likes and dislikes for his video. And he goes and spouts on and on and on about how it's bad and it's forgettable. This, that, and the third. Here's the thing. I just finished watching Lost in Space and I didn't forget it. I just finished watching You on Netflix. And I didn't forget that either. The whole reason why people decided to join Netflix in the first place is because they got sick and tired of the, tele of the network television formula. Of a week by week basis. I don't feel like waiting a whole week to sit there and watch something. If I have the time to sit there and watch it now. I'm going to watch it now. Like okay. Sabrina just came out. Um, season 3. Or part 3 or whatever. Just came out. I have the time to watch it now. So I'm going to watch it. Um, There's times throughout the week or whatever. When I'm working and stuff. And I just don't have the time. But if I can get through at least three or four episodes and I'll watch it now and then watch them later on. But it's a choice. You know, you having some jackasses in the comments section talking about how it doesn't savor the moment, this, that, and the third. But here's the thing that you keep fucking forgetting. It is a choice. You make that choice when you decide to watch four or five episodes. Here's the thing. If you don't want to spoil it for yourself or forget about it or whatever or save it, whatever the fuck it is you want to call it, you have the option of watching one episode and stopping and then watch another episode. If that's what you want to do, that's what you want to do. But for him to sit there and say this should end it, it's like Smith there saying, well, the people who actually like watching it, who like binge watching it, should stop doing it. Fuck you, Matt Jarbo. Fuck you on that. Because that's the shit that really pisses me off. Him telling them... That you shouldn't, that you should cut out binge culture on Netflix. And what about the people that actually like binge watch, who likes binge watching, um, who likes to binge watch stuff? What is that? Just fuck them too. That's why I'm so fucking angry with him. I'm angry with him because he is unilaterally deciding on everyone's behalf. That this is the way you should watch TV. And this is your dumbass stupid fucking opinion. I'm getting so angry right now. I'm getting so fucking angry. That I feel like I'm losing my train of fucking thought. He, you know, he talks about how it's a good business model. This, that, and the third. Hey, you know what? Let's just throw another one out there. Since you want to just come up with your stupid ass, dumb, fucking, dumb... Stupid fucking... See, this is why I'm just getting so angry. Why don't you tell Netflix to charge more money? Why don't you tell them to have a commercial option? I mean, if we're just going to sit there and just say, Oh, fuck it. Let's just do away with what people actually enjoy about Netflix. Let's just go full fucking ham, okay? Let's just tell them to add commercials in there. Let's just tell them to raise the price. Hey, Jackass, I'm sorry that um, Disney Plus didn't work out for you. Because Disney Plus works on that week-by-week -week episode. And by the way, the whole stopping binge culture only works out for him because he loves to review stuff. And if he gets a chance to watch it, he gets a chance to review it. It's a selfish fucking prick. 
Okay, it's a selfish fucking prick reason of why he made that fucking video. So he comes across as a selfish fucking jackass. Just... Here's the thing. I watch his videos from time to time and whatever. But, um, I gotta be honest with you, B. This shit is really fucking making me think about changing my mind about watching your content. Because you are selfishly deciding that you feel it's a good idea for other people to stop binge watching stuff. I didn't even need to watch his video. And I know, I know I should watch his video. So that way I can form my own opinion. But this isn't the first time that this stupid fucking jackass came out with that dumb fucking retarded opinion. John Campia came out with that also. I also want to sit there and bash his head in the fucking wall for thinking of that. But, um... Trying to use as little violent terms as possible, but it's it's so difficult. It is so fucking difficult when he's practically talking about a good way to screw me over. Oh, at some point I'm thinking about cutting the whole fucking cord with cable. I don't want to sit there and go from a week to week episode of oh man, you know, I just finished watching this episode. I can't. Oh, fuck, I gotta sit there and wait till next week to sit there and watch it. Now, granted, they've done that with certain shows. I don't agree with it, but fuck it. You know what? Maybe, um, I'll give you an example. Um, there's a show called Between. Still waiting for that shit to get renewed. But, um, it's about people who die under the age of 30. I mean, um, once they hit 30. Now, they did that also. It came on every Thursday. I would watch it, and then I'd be like, fuck. It was so good that I couldn't wait to watch it to, you know, the next episode. But I had to sit there and wait, because I just had to sit there and wait. Now, I'm starting to think maybe because it was a show from Canada or whatever. Hold on. Um, it was a show from Canada, and maybe that's just how they got their content. I don't know, but my whole point is, I had to get something to drink, because this, this asshole, this selfish fucking prick, and by the way, John Campy is a selfish prick, too, and the fact that he wants it to be a week-by-week -week, um, episode, so that way he can review stuff, and how he even actually said it, too, okay, he said it before. But my point is, is that you make a choice when you want to sit there and if you want to sit there and binge watch the whole like season in one day, that's your choice. And if you feel like you have nothing left to watch after that, it's your choice. But they don't tell you, well, you have to watch it at a certain time or else. So this is a response to Matt Jarbo and about how much of a fucking selfish fucking prick that he is. How he's a selfish jackass, a fucking retard. I just, I had to get that out the way. You know, honestly, to tell you the truth, the problem is it's not the first time he, he says some shit like that. And I remember just being so fucking angry. Like, I want to punch a fuck. I want to punch my, I can't even talk, I can't even talk right now. I want to take my fist and drive it through a goddamn fucking wall when I heard him talk about this shit the first time because that, for me, I felt like you're going backwards, right? Like, you, you're taking us backwards. That's like saying, you know what? We should all just not drive cars anymore. We should just take horses. Just walk more. And I'm just not there thinking, what the fuck is wrong with you? You said, yeah, no, you sound like a fucking retard. That's... I, now... You know, you give you give a show like The Flash or whatever. And you know, here's another... And, and that's actually... You know what? Now I'm sitting there thinking more level-headed. It's my whole point. So, network television, a lot of times with their shows, when they get really popular, they start to stretch out the seasons. You know, 12 becomes 22, whatever... Now, with Netflix, and this is another thing, 
Netflix doesn't exactly have the fastest turnaround. So if I wait, let's say three weeks or three months or whatever to watch something, who the hell knows I'm going to sit there and rewatch that? I mean, now that I think about it, that doesn't really make a lot of sense. But my whole fucking point is that you have a choice to binge watch something or not. Don't let this jackass Matt Jarbo tell you why it's a bad thing and why I feel that, you know, Netflix should stop binge culture because Netflix didn't, Netflix didn't tell you you have to watch it all at once, you know? When people signed up for Netflix and they found out that you get to watch all the fucking episodes at one time, it was fucking great. I was like, yo, I don't have to sit there and wait to fucking watch this. I can just watch it all in one time and just, you know, move forward and shit. That's fucking great. And now this jackass is pretty much trying to take us back to the fucking Stone Age. And I'm like, why? Why? I get, here's the thing. I get that it's your opinion. And you're allowed to have your opinion. As stupid as fucking retarded as it sounds, you're allowed to have your opinion. But guess what? Guess what, jackass? I have to write to my opinion too. And I have to write to call you a selfish fucking prick. A stupid fucking asshole. A stupid fucking retarded bastard. I have the right to call you that. I feel a little bit better now. I do. I remember I made a comment um about a year ago. And granted, it was not my finest moment. And I mean in like spelling errors also. And he took the time to actually post my comment. And I'm like, I honestly tell you the truth, I think this is this is why I start to sit there and think like, you know what? Maybe I should do some YouTube videos. But you know, at the time I was like, eh, I don't know, but he took the time to actually um, post my comment on his page. So, granted, the guy has a lot of follow followers, how I follow him and shit. And it's not like he says all bad shit. And maybe I should, I'm not going to backtrack really, but, you know, I have come, come across and said some dumb, retarded, stupid shit too. Probably make somebody else want to drive my head through a wall as well. But here's the thing. I can still have my opinion. And I can still want to drive your fucking face through a goddamn wall. Now, of course, I'm not going to sit there and advocate violence. I'm not going to actually try to find him and hurt him. Because of his stupid fucking retarded opinion. He's just not worth the jail time. <laughs> well, honestly, he's just not worth the jail time. I can't sit there and find anyone that's actually worth the jail time. Especially a YouTuber. But, and granted, it's mostly the anger talking. But, um, I, I just, I... That's the level of anger that... That comes from watching... Maybe that's just me. Maybe I just, maybe I just come across as a very... I guess passionate person, a little too passionate, but um, yeah, um, well this video actually certainly went fucking left, um, yeah I started off just calling him names and that's the next thing I know I went to sit and talk about I want to bash his head through a wall, I just, I get so fucking angry, I get so angry, when people say the dumbest, and it's not so much that they say the dumbest shit. People can say dumb shit all day long. Um, and it may annoy me. But I think the part that really angers me is the fact that he comes across as very selfish. Because there's two things that makes him come across as selfish. One, he only, he wants it to be a week by week formula so that way he has more content. Even if, that, even if it's at the expense of other people and their way of enjoying Netflix. 
two, it's a very selfish fucking reason. Because at the end of the day, Netflix doesn't make you binge watch stuff. They don't tell you you have to sit there and do it. Um, I've read somewhere on the comment section, even somebody even fucking said that. It was like, yo, Netflix doesn't tell you you have to watch it. It's a personal choice. And for him to sit there and say, well, I want you to, I want, I want it to end. It's like, all right, you stupid fucking retard. What if I don't want it to end? What if I don't want it to end? Fuck, fuck your whole, your, your whole rhymes and reason of why and your whole fucking conjuring up of why. I don't fucking care about that because what it comes down to is I don't want them to stop doing that and in the end I feel like that would hurt Netflix a lot more than help it would hurt Netflix it really fucking would um and that's the beauty about Netflix you know and he always talks he also talks and this is exactly where his mindset comes in from he always says and says Netflix has too many options really bro Really? Well, there's more women on this planet than men. You want to bitch about that shit too? I mean, seriously, where, where does the bitching fest end? I... You know, him even sitting there saying that it has too many options and I don't know what to watch. I'm like... And then he, at, at one point, I think he talks about like some sort of like, well, I feel like I have to keep up. I feel like I have to sit, finish watching so that way, you know, I can be in the know. I'm like, really, asshole? Really? Here's the thing. I've never felt like the need to catch up to anybody. I've never really been a follower. I mean, even with TV shows, even with, like, TV shows or movies or whatever, I watch it when I watch it, you know? If my friend watched it and I didn't watch it, it's like, yo, listen... Did you like it? Okay, cool. But well, don't say anything because I'm going to sit there and watch it the next week or the next day or whatever. I've never felt like that. I bet you that guy in fucking... I bet you in high school he was probably a fucking follower. I bet you he would sit there and follow all the shit that his friends would fucking do. You know, if they tried like weed or whatever or drugs, whatever it was. He would sit there and follow fucking people and that's when that fucking mentality comes in from. And... You know, I'm just going to go off tangent a little bit. This video is getting way longer than I want it to be. But, you know, I feel like as a YouTube, as a content creator, you're putting your voice out there to influence other people or sway people. Or just, even if I say something and people agree or don't agree, I feel like you have a responsibility to be accurate with your information. And... I feel like I may watch his video because if I feel like he doesn't say, well, you have a choice of watching all this stuff, you don't have to sit there. Like, you know, if he sits there and says, you know, I don't want binge culture to be a thing anymore on Netflix. Even though I know that, you know, binge culture is a choice. Netflix isn't telling you to sit there and watch it. I would actually have a modicum of fucking respect for him. But I'm pretty sure so far that he's just spouting off reasons and data and all this other bullshit. And he's not sitting there saying, well, you know what? It's a choice. Maybe in high school he never really did have a choice. He felt he needed to always fit in. And that's why he feels like now that he's a grown-ass adult. He gets to be like, I want to make my own choices. And I want to sit there and say no to binge culture because whatever fucking fucktarded reason that he has going on. But, um, you know, I just, I, I'm mad at him also because of that. Because I feel like he, you know, he has so many followers and shit like that. And he has a responsibility to sit there and kind of, you know, he can give his opinion. But don't make it seem like you are, well, that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to, like, don't sit there and poison people's minds, you know. Give them an option. I know he was sitting there and says at the end, like, oh, well, if you agree with me, if you disagree with me, it's like, no, no, no. You pretty much already tried to sway them one way or the other. Now, again, if you don't feel like binge culture is a thing for you, that's fine. But you don't actually have to watch 
all of their episodes. But you shouldn't sit there and tell Netflix that I don't want binge I don't want to binge cult stuff anymore. I don't want it to be a binge culture anymore. Because you're being selfish to the other people that do wanna um continue watching stuff their way. It's like whenever I find trolls on like Instagram or whatever, they'll be like, Oh, I want this show to be cancelled. It's like I remember I asked one person why, I was like, why? Why do you want to be cancer? Because it's bad and it sucks, this, that, and the third. I was like, well, what about the people that actually enjoy it? There's no response to that. Because in the moment, they're just sitting there thinking about what they want. What they want and how it serves them. And they never sit there and think about the group as a whole. You know, if Matt doesn't want binge culture to be a thing, that's his, you know, whatever. But to sit there and say, well, I'm telling Netflix to stop binge culture. That's like me going, that's like me being in a classroom and being like, well, you know what? Listen, I just don't think that people should be on their phones anymore. You know? No, no, fuck it, at work. I don't think that people should be um, on their phones at, at work anymore. You know? And my whole thing is like, bro, if you don't want to be on your phone, that's your choice. But to sit there and tell other people to not be on their phones and to sit there and tell them, like, to tell, like, managers that? You're just an asshole. And Matt Jarbo, you're an asshole. Along with the other list of names that I've fucking called you. So, uh, yeah, in conclusion, Matt's an asshole. He's a selfish prick. And, um,. Man, I hope I don't have to make another video about him again in a negative light because, again, I do watch his stuff. And, you know, a lot of times I do agree with him, but this one, and um, John Campy also. This one, I feel like I am on a hard pass about it. And, um, I, I want to I wanna actually hope that I don't have to make another video of this level. To be honest, being mad is just way too much fucking work. And I hate doing it. I Not hard work, but like... Being this angry. But... I guess that's what happens when you're a passionate person, so... This video is way too long, but if anyone actually... Got halfway up into this video, I appreciate it. So, um... Yeah, Matt Jarbo, you're an asshole. Eat a dick.